Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to share a super helpful concept that's gonna change the way you approach your scales on the guitar. Trust me, it's a game changer. And by the end of this video, you'll be navigating the fretboard like a pro. So let's just dive in. So most of us are pretty cozy, right, with the pentatonic scale, right? This guy here. It's the bread and butter of most improvisation. And one cool thing about the pentatonic scale is that it's basically tension free. So that means that any note that you're gonna hit just kind of sounds right. There's no wrong notes in the pentatonic scale. You can just kind of jam back and forth. <laughs> You can just kind of land on any note and it's gonna sound right. And the reason for that is because it lacks the half steps. But here's the kicker. It's those half steps that add the spice and add the color to your melodies that's gonna make it so much more interesting. So let's get into that. So what we're gonna do is take that trusty pentatonic scale. And if you look on the screen there, you can see all the black notes right there are the different patterns of the pentatonic scale. So we're gonna take that and we're gonna sprinkle in those white notes, those half steps to create something that's even more magical, which is basically your diatonic scales, which would be your major, your minor scales, or your modes, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so let's start at the beginning. Let's start with pattern one. And what we're gonna do is, here's the basic pentatonic scale. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a half step between the root note and the third right here. So, and then we're gonna do the same thing on the next string where we add in a half step above the fifth. So it's gonna give us this pattern here. So it's one, three, four, one, three, four. And then to end off the first octave, fingers one and three. So we've taken this and turned it to this. So this turns your standard pentatonic into a diatonic just by adding in those half steps. So moving on to the next part. So you're gonna add a half step right below here by moving back one fret here, and then you're gonna play, play the pattern one, two, four, and then repeat that pattern again, but one, one fret higher, one, two, four, and then one, three, four on the top string. So you're, again, you're adding in that half step between the root and the third. So that gives you this little pattern here. And that's the whole thing. So that's taking your pentatonic scale and turning it into a diatonic scale, which would be basically a minor scale, by just adding in those half steps. And then if you play it backwards. But here's the thing, if you really want to master this, you've got to dig into some music theory. So don't worry though, it's not, it's not that bad. But music theory is built around the major scale. So the major scale is like the mother of all scales. And it's essential to really understand how that works and basically the major scale is built around a sequence of whole and half steps and that's really what diatonic means it just means whole and half steps uh, so the formula is whole step whole step half step whole step whole step whole step half step so that's two whole steps and a half step and then three whole steps and a half step and a whole step is two frets and a half step is one fret so get that formula down memorize that formula that's kind of like the golden rule whole step whole step half step whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. Now, here's where it gets interesting. So we're gonna take that pentatonic scale, but what's cool about the pentatonic scale is it can kind of swing both ways, right? It can be either a major or it can be a minor, depending on where you start. So every major key has a relative minor, that's three frets down. So for example, if you're jamming in G minor, that's also in the neighborhood of B flat major. So a G minor pentatonic scale is also a B flat major pentatonic scale. So right here, G minor and B flat major, same thing, right? In fact, you can see it even more clearly if you look at it in light of the cage system. If you're playing a G minor using the E minor form here, you can see the pentatonic scale fits over it perfectly. And then the major, relative major, would be the G form. It's just like taking a G chord and sliding it up. And again, you can see it fits perfectly right there under your fingers. So the rule there is, if you start with the root note on your index finger, it's minor. 
And then if you start with the root note on your pinky, then it's major. So that's a good little rule to remember. So let's look at this from a major perspective. So you're simply gonna use that whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half formula. And when you do that, what you're doing is you're adding in a fourth and a seventh. Because the because the pentatonic scale, if you start on the major, which would be on the pinky, the notes are root, major second, major third, fifth, and sixth. And what we're doing is we're gonna be adding in that missing fourth and seventh degrees which are also called the subdominant and the leading tone, kind of like in classical music. But these two notes are actually beautiful sounding notes. They really add that tension and that beauty and that melodic sense to your scales. So the beauty of this system is how it ties into what you already know, right? So we've already established this little, this little pattern here. But if you go to pattern two, the pattern two of the pentatonic scale is played like this, right? Now, if we're playing in the relative major, you can see how that pattern perfectly kind of mirrors the shape of a E form bar chord, a root six bar chord. It falls right under the fingers. So then what we can do is just apply the whole step, half step formula to this. So starting on the root here, root, whole step, whole step, half step, there's the fourth, the subdominant, fifth, sixth, seventh, we're adding in the seventh, and there's the half step back to the root. So we've got this. And... So we've taken this and turned it to this just by adding in those beautiful sounding notes there.